northwest Australia are the Montebello Islands. Far beyond normal shipping routes they lie, and until 1952, only pearl fishing boats entered the blue waters that lap the cliffs surrounding their shores. Barren, unfertile rocks where no man lives, buffeted by winds blowing in from the ocean, scorched by a dazzling sun that beats upon her empty beaches. This was the place chosen to explode Britain's first atomic weapon. There were 60 national servicemen on the uh, HMAS Murchison that day. I've got an incredible record of photographs taken from the time we boarded the ship until we got off in Melbourne on the 30th of October. My father pulled a few strings to get me in because of my great-great-grandfather, who was the purser on the Sirius, and it was his wish that I'd go to sea. We thought we were going on a, a, a cruise, that's what I thought. Uh, we learnt different. All preparations were completed and the last group of scientists left the islands. Well, when we got there we didn't know why we were there and then one morning we were uh, told to assemble on deck in uh, fully protective outfits of sandals and shorts. It was so laissez-faire Bearing in mind what we were going to be subjected to, I would have thought they may have suggested that we wear some extra gear on that particular day. Thousands of tons of water, mud and sand blackened the gigantic fireball. We were told that we had to face east, turn our backs west to the Monte Bellows, and then after a very short time, about two minutes or so, we were told we could turn around, and that's when we saw the cloud going up, and uh, some of us, not, if not all of us, felt the shock wave, very slight, but uh, we certainly saw the cloud going up from the bomb. Well, we were told that there were to be no cameras on the deck, but I had this very small camera and I worked out that if I uh, undid the buttons on the fly, I could fit the camera down there and work the mechanism by putting my hands in my pocket. And seeing that I was against the rail, that's just what I did. The official records show that the Murchison was 70 nautical miles south-southwest of the blast zone, but I've got photographs and to the best of our knowledge, we were 12 to 15 miles east of the blast site, not 70 miles south-southwest. We couldn't have got the photos if we were 70 miles away. We cleaned the, um, the top sides. We had no protective gear, no protective gear at all. We spent four days between Montebello Islands and the port of Onslow cleaning the ship. We scrubbed the ship from top to bottom and painted it from top to bottom. And I distinctly remember the captain saying that it was for safety reasons. What I'm very upset about is the falsification of records and the denial by the government that we were where we were and we saw what we saw and we did what we did. Some of us were listed as being on the Wagga, HMAS Wagga, and some were listed as being on HMAS Condamine. One or two of the guys didn't have their service records altered and showed that they were at Montebello, but the majority of us had our service records altered. I, I believe that the service records were altered so that the government would not have to face a compensation bill to uh, we who were there, to our children, to our children's children and their children, because some of the components have got a half-life of 2,000 years and uh, the government's going to be up for a hell of a bill. And so they put us on our service records that we're on ships that weren't even at Montebello. I think you've got to actually get a, a minister that would actually um understand the cause 
that we're actually fighting for. I'm concerned that in the future, children will be born with problems and nobody's going to know why unless it comes out in the open now and we are told that yes, children 10, 15, 20, 100 years down the line could suffer from what we were exposed to in 1952. That lethal cloud rising above Montebello marks the achievement of British science and industry in the development of atomic power. But it leaves unanswered the question, how shall this newfound power be used? <laughs>